Welcome to the Expediter CICS Recording Program Execution Module. Here you will learn how to enable Expediter CICS Recording to assist in program debugging. Let's take a look at how program recording works. To begin, recording must be enabled by the user. As a program runs, typically via Go commands, its execution path and all data values are recorded. That is, every value of every program variable at every step is retained for later use. When needed, this information may be recalled. This allows the user to seemingly step backward through the just executed program code. The user can see, but not change, what happened. We will go through an example. We begin by accessing the source code for the demo program and entering the monitor command to enable program recording. This is only for the current program. We see a confirmation message and the title line is tagged to indicate the same. Next, we launch the program and enter the employee number to cause the ASRA. The result is shown. The ASRA is noted and the cause is highlighted, bad data in a program variable. We enter a keep for that variable and see the confirmation message. We are now ready to enter review mode. We enter the reverse command which allows recall from the recorded information. There is a confirmation message and the reverse tag is seen above the program code. We note the current execution point before 426 and enter a go1 command. The execution point moves backward to 425. Another go1 command is entered. The execution point moves backward again to 407. When going forward, statement 425 was the first executable statement after the go to on line 407. After entering another go1 command, we see that the value in WA hours has changed. The move statement is the current execution point. Normally, going forward, this would be to be executed. Instead, here in review mode, it is has been executed. This move is responsible for providing variable WA hours with the bad data. To investigate a bit further, we peek at the group level variable and find the bad data there as suspected. Our review of this program ends here, but we will look at other information regarding review mode. When in review mode and going in reverse, entering the reverse command changes the direction to forward and tags the listing. The resume command takes you out of review mode and returns you to the actual current execution position. Jumping to the monitor summary panel lists programs being monitored. Programs may be added to the list by entering a program name on a blank line and deleted with the D line command. Back in the program listing, the delete command may be used to delete the monitor. The confirmation message is shown. Returning to the monitor summary panel reflects the deletion. 
One last point. Attempting to delete the monitor while still in review mode will fail. This concludes this module. Thank you.